Today I'm going to take you along for a training session with Arsenal women. It's a restart session for us, but we're going to focus on our principles of play. We're going to have a technical part where we're playing a up-back-through pattern, where we, at the end the players compete about doing it as well as possible. After that, we're going to go into a positional exercise that's going to prime them for coming into something that we call working on the two final thirds. So one of the final thirds will be us building up and playing away pressure and the other final third will be how we from there on progress and how we enter our attacking final third and hopefully score some nice goals today. Nice. Everything's looking good, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Sharp, yeah. Nice. Only one touch. Play, 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 yes. Open up lines of passes. Need to be intelligent with the rotation. All good tempo. I can take the time and kick in the balls. Yeah. All right, we're ready. Very good, let's go. Oh, bravo. Ah, play on. Good, pink. Good. It's not them again! <laughs> One thing that we did a lot over there before, what pattern was that? How do we play the passes all the time over there? Up, back, through. So for example, this one here would be an example that we're playing the ball in here, Cody. You're the one here. I'm now setting the ball to Cody. What detail do I need to give her the ball with now? So she can play it first time. So we need to be more aware of that. Demand the ball, so we play here. And now we can start opening it up for it, okay? So they're all here. Plenty of opportunities you had to play the ball in. Now we just need to set it so next player can go first touch, okay? What I think it's important is that we, we put a lot of value on technical excellency uh, at Arsenal way of playing football. So. As you can see, after we got going, we progressed that onto having a competitive element in, where the four groups were competing against each other, which one could do it the best and fastest, and you got a point for that. And I think to keeping the technical standards very high is such an important way of the way we want to play. Okay, listen here. Build up over here. The idea here is the nine always come up here and process. This is the build-up zone. If you want to enter Frida, if you want to enter Beth, that's fine. It just means that another player can enter here from blue as well. If you want to enter Cairo, if you want to go lower step, that's also fine. It just means that they can start coming in as well. So we're quite fluid in the way that we can press, but it starts with a 3v1 situation. Now, remember the possession game that we did last Tuesday. Here, once you progress up, you can play the ball back. We can only play the ball on the ground. 10 passes is a goal. If you do penetrate in to your final third zone, pink, you can only defend with one player. Just like we did on Tuesday. You have to be above here. This is the offside line. Once it plays in here, you only can defend with one player and you can send in three attackers in total. And you have a maximum amount of three touches before you can score a goal, yeah? The 10 passes only counts once you have completed the build-up. So once you're getting players, first time you come into this zone, if you go back after that, you continue to count, okay? Yes, bravo. Good detail on the pass, Dina. Play great. Good, Cody. And that's onside because remember, the 18-yard line is the offside line for the pink team, and this here dotted red line is the offside line for the other team. Really good run over there, Les. 
us moving the ball very well. Early positioning, like we spoke about before, really nice. Now here, of course, they recognize when is the moment to go forward for it. If we want to improve our central combination play, this is a great way to practice it. So when we play in, we set back, can we make that trigger runs? If you fail here now, these are the ones Aaron were speaking about last week. We fail fast, we fail cheap. Just react to it, okay? But if we don't try it now here, we're not going to improve either, okay? So it's really nice moving the ball. Now find the moment for us when we can go through, when we can have runs forward. We then went on to play a positional uh, as a primer for our uh, um, possession game going on. And what we did try to, to implement there was the up back through pattern, but now not in a prescribed way, but more in a situational um, way. And you get a lot of repetition, but also a lot of decision making under less time and less space. So priming and starting for the mind and decision making to, to go better and quicker. It's really important when we then go into a more tactical element. That was the third part. So the power ball is back. So that means every game, it's 90 seconds. Once a game, you can demand a yellow ball from your goalkeeper. That's worth two goals, okay? Otherwise, it's just worth one. Each team can do that once, okay? And once you've done it, you can't do it for the, the rest of that game, yeah? So use it wisely. Let's bring it, okay? Subs, you go. Yes, combinations, bravo. Power ball is on. Very good, play again. Can the trigger runs? So in total, three points to the blue. But next game is worth three points. Good, one nothing. Bravo, better, one last game. Blue has won the league, last game is always the cup, okay? And pink, as a team, as our values, we always give 100%, right? No matter if the first three games now have been touched, let's get together, work the last 90 seconds, be proud of them, okay? Same thing for blue, even if you have won. Finish off strong here now, okay? Good position in front, Jen. Yes, Steph! Very good, game deciding, Steph. Pretty yeah. bravo, Seb. Good job. Well, fast, Tina. Good work. Have something to drink. Okay, good. Recover, refresh. We go again tomorrow.